And welcome to JustCompareCars.com. My name is James, and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2018 Mitsubishi L200. It's a 2.4 DID 178 Barbarian Auto. It's done 93,000 miles and it's got full service history. Okay, so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now, and we find them to be very popular because it mainly means because you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home, but as if you were here in person. As I go around the truck with you today, we'll look at all the panels individually, looking for any marks, any scratches or any dints. We'll look at the wheels and the tyres. We'll have a look in the back, then we'll have a look inside the vehicle, looking at the seats, the functionality. I'll even tell you what it smells like inside. Once we've done that, we'll pop the bonnet, have a look at the engine, and finally we'll have a look underneath at the underside of the engine, the chassis and the spare wheel. I find that this covers most areas of the vehicle that you would look at if you were here in person. Now, once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see and you'd like to buy it, a small deposit will secure it, and we can pretty much deliver it anywhere you'd like it to get to. <coughs> Excuse me. If you're looking to finance a vehicle, it is a VAT applicable vehicle, so we will need a, VA a deposit to cover the VAT. An application takes about five minutes, and we can usually get your decision within about an hour. Um, equally, once you watch the video, if you think I've missed something, or if you'd like to see something in a bit more detail, please just ask not a problem I've been doing these videos for three years and uh, no one's ever asked me to do one yet so I would hope that I cover most things right let's start with the bonnet and then we'll work away from there <coughs> excuse me right so um, bonnet's in nice condition as you can see there's no obvious marks or dents everything looks really nice and clean um, they do look great in black um, there are a few stone chips um, on the front as you can hopefully just see it's obviously it's a used vehicle it's done 93,000 miles um it has got some stone chips on it but they're not massive and uh, they're not bad by a long shot but obviously they are there um driver side headlight and front bumper again there's a few stone chips on the front again nothing serious but they are there and again the passenger side headlight again in great condition on to the passenger side front wing and it's in nice clean condition and as you can see there's no nasty marks or dints but again there are a few small stone chips get one there so passenger side front wheel and tire the wheels in great condition it's a continental tire and I would say that it's approximately eight or nine millimeters of tread maybe a little bit more uh, the windscreen is in nice clean condition I can't see any stone chips or cracks Passenger side mirror back's in nice clean condition, there's no damage, and the mirror is intact. <clears throat> right, so let's go over the pillars first. Hopefully you can see from that. They're in nice clean condition, there's no damage, and everything looks good. Right, so passenger side, I always like to look at the side on like this first, because it gives you a decent indication. You can see all the gaps look right. And there's no obvious signs of any historic paint. Right, so let's go down the passenger side. And again, I'm looking for any marks or dints. Now, there seems to be a little mark there. I don't know where it is. There, look. It is tiny, then. Just if you can. I don't know if it's a dent or a little stone chip. Can't see it now. Maybe it was just a little bit of polish. There's a little mark there. Yeah, it's going to be show up on the camera, but it's tiny. Other than that, I can't see anything. Side steps in nice condition. The surround of the rear window is in nice condition. As is the passenger side of the roof, everything looks nice and clean. Onto the tub, or the rear quarter, whatever you want to call it. And as you can see, it's in nice clean condition. There are... No, it's not. Just 
there's a little bit of muck that's flown up on it. There are a couple of little tiny scratches, as you can see. They don't really show up like well. If you look at this from here, you can't see them, but they are if you're close up. Uh, tailgate. is in nice clean condition. There's a ladybug. Get rid of that. Tailgate's in nice clean condition. And there's no obvious marks or dents. Rear bumper is in good condition. No tow bar, so it's not towed anything. Um, obviously, it's got this uh, lift up lid, which is colour coded. It's like a perfect match to me, colour wise. And it's in really nice, clean condition. I presume it's on pneumatics, but let's just check. It is. Pneumatics work well. Oh, rear doors on a soft opener as well. Nice to see. In the back, it's nice, clean, all round. It's obviously not had a hard life. Looks like it's been used like a car, to be honest. It is novel seeing that soft open. It's nice and light to lift up as well. And it works perfectly. And there's an LED light in the back, it does work. Just do that again. That's it. So, uh, passenger side rear wheel and tyre. Wheels in great condition, it's a Toyo tyre. I'd guess at probably 7mm tread. Passenger side tail lights in nice clean condition, there's no damage, everything looks nice and clear. Driver's side is the same. Onto the rear quarter or tub, whatever you want to call it. And again, it's in nice clean condition. No obvious dents or marks. Looks like there's a couple of little tiny scratches there, but they're tiny. Around the rear window, roof. And again, it's everything's nice and clean. Right, so let's go over the pillars. And again, there's no nasty marks or dents. Everything looks nice and clean. So let's have a look at the driver's side gaps. And again, hopefully you can see from that, it looks straight. There's no signs of any misalignment in the doors. Everything looks nice and clean. There's no signs of any paint. Right, so let's go down the driver's side. And again, I can't see any signs of any dents or marks. Everything looks really nice and clean. There's a couple of very small stone chips there. That's probably the extent of it. Side steps in nice clean condition as well. Driver side mirror back is nice and clean. There's no damage. And that's the same for the mirror. Driver side front wing. And again, it's in nice clean condition. So driver side rear wheel and tire. Wheels in great condition again. It's matching to the axle. Uh, Toyo open country tyre, matching tread depth. And then driver side front wheel and tyre, again it's a matching tyre for the opposite side, continental and the wheels in great condition. And it's matching tread. And all the wheels are in fantastic condition actually, to be fair, it's nice to see, it's always been cared for. So the vehicle itself is keyless entry, keyless go. So as long as you've got your key in your pocket, which I have, it will lock and the mirrors fold in as you can see and you press it again and it will open and the mirrors fold down that works seamlessly right so onto the interior driver's door card is very clean there's a couple of tiny little marks if you've been really picky on the armrest you've got your electric windows times four and then your electric window lock uh, 
Driver's foot well. Rubber mats, nice to see. Carpet's looking nicely in condition. Everything looks spot on. Driver's seat. Bolsters are really nice and firm. All the material's nice and clean. There's a little bit being completely... There's a tiny little crack on the inside there. It's nothing really. Driver's seat's fully electric. And everything works perfectly. And jump in. Right, so there's two keys. And there's two keys for the canopy or whatever you want to call it, lift up lid. Obviously it's keyless entry, keyless go, so as long as you've got your key in your pocket, you can open it, you can lock it uh, and also start it. Start it's quite straightforward, put your foot on the brake. There's a stop start button down here, press it once, fires into action straight away, no issues. So, passenger seat, bolsters are really very firm, material is really nice and clean. Just bear me a second, sorry. Turn the volume down. Um, if I'm being honest, I think the passenger seat's probably not been used. Um, it feels like new, which usually suggests it's probably been used as like a director's vehicle, which has been up and down the motorway, and it's been used to go to meetings and whatever else. Uh, but yeah, the seat looks in virtually perfect condition, and to feel the bolsters, you'd understand, it just doesn't feel like it's been sat in. Um, dashboard is very clean. It's free from any damage. Everything looks spot on. Steering wheel is nice and clean there's no discoloration there's no signs of any threading um, it looks very clean uh, it's obviously a well-equipped vehicle as well so um, dashboard you can see there's no signs of any uh, warning lights mileage is 93,600 uh, handbrakes on obviously not wearing my seatbelt and then obviously just the standard stuff the fuels are getting a little bit low but other than that there's no warning lights on the dashboard um, steering wheel controls, basically the right hand side is your cruise control, left hand side is your media centre. Um, down below is your voice command and then obviously you can answer your phone from there. Um, additional to that, it has got flappy paddles so you can drive it manually if you wish. Um, and obviously it's all, otherwise it's got a, I think it's a 5 speed automatic gearbox. Yeah, 5 speed automatic gearbox. Uh, Mitsubishi Stay, it will do 38 to a gallon, whether it will, I'm not sure. Uh, roof lining is very clean it's free from any damage um, it smells all right inside as well uh, it doesn't smell to me like it's ever been smoked in uh, which is a something for me personally i don't like it obviously some people smoke it doesn't matter to them um, but yeah it doesn't smell like it's been smoked in so that's good um it's got the over mats all around in the front not in the back though um seats again in the back look really nice and clean but we'll have a look at those a little bit closer in a minute uh, so it's got a decent media centre, first of all let's look at the reversing camera, as you can see it's nice and clear, um, very easy to see, there's no dead pixels in the screen and the camera is very very clear. Click on the home button, um, so it's got obviously applications which are part of your mobile phone settings. Um, so I can only presume that it will work through that in regards to um, navigation and things like that. Let's have a quick look. Uh, yeah, it's got it's got Apple and Android CarPlay, so you can get your nav and everything through those. Obviously, it's got DAB and FM and AM, and it's obviously got the applications. And everything works, as you can see, perfectly. Um, let's try aircon while we're here. Let's put that down to low gets there eventually um, I can tell you the air condition works straight away you can feel it it's got that bite to it instantly it's off. It's too cold for that today um, heated seats let's try those um, it's got an HDMI port down the bottom with a USB so I presume you can watch videos and stuff on you 
presume you can watch uh, videos on your screen and whatever else, presumably when you're stationary. Um, it's got switchable four wheel drive, armrest, which is all again in nice clean condition and everything looks spot on. Um, nothing on towards shape at all. It's, it's a nice clean truck. It drives great as well. Um, I've done maybe before in it, but I've been up and down the drive and it to take some photographs. If you look on Facebook, they're on there. Um, it's got the ambient lighting all around and it's like a really cool blue. That's quite nice. I think it looks quite smart. I don't think you can change that. Let's have a quick look. Um, no, I can't see anything for that. So I presume it's just a stationary colour. But yeah, nice, nice system, works really well, um, dead easy to use. Obviously, it's got Apple and Android CarPlay, so, you know, it's one of those that's just dead simple to learn. Um, spectacles, holders, and everything else. Right, uh, heated seats work, that's good. Let's switch that off. Um, down by your right knee, you've got your lane departure warning, your electric mirror control with your electric folding mirrors, Stability control, obviously, and then you stop start and things like that. Let's just do the bonnet while we're here, which is just there. Let's have a look in the back. So, uh, driver's, uh, driver's side rear door card, nice and clean. There is a couple of little tiny marks, but nothing serious. Seats in the back. Are very clean everything looks nice again they don't really look like they've been sat in to me mm -hmm. seats come forward and then you've got your bottle jack and your toolkit and everything down there as well it has got an armrest with cup holders and yeah everything's really nice and clean let's just have a look in the passenger side So, passenger side front door card, again in nice clean condition. And again, as you can see from the seats, they basically look like new. Um, there's a little tiny mark there, look. And one there, nothing serious. And into the rear. And again, very clean. Let's have a look under the bonnet. Hopefully he's still with me. It's usually the one person that watches it all is usually the person that buys it. So um, keep watching, it's worth it. Uh, turbo unit, as you can see, is very clean. Um, it's free from any oil or residue. Um, a lot of people do ask us if we clean another bonnet, we don't. Um, I'll tell you how I can prove it. If you just look down there. There you go. Um, there's other bits on the battery and stuff. I just can't see the point in cleaning them. I'd rather show it you as it is. Um, it's, you know, there's nothing to hide at the end of the day. So yeah, you can see there's no signs of any historic oil leaks or oil residue around the turbo unit or around the engine. Belts are in great condition. All the fluids are clean and to the correct levels. And everything just looks spot on. Let's have a quick look underneath at the underside of the engine. Hands and knees. Uh, there's under trays fitted on this one, so you can't really see a great deal, but um, obviously you can take from what you've seen uh, above. Uh, but everything looks nice and clean and dry. Chassis is in great condition as well. Uh, diff is dry and it's clean. Spare wheel looks to be an alloy and it's got a decent tyre. Okay, so hopefully I've shown you everything that you would need to see. Maybe a little bit more. I appreciate to go on. Where are we at? Um, 19 minutes. It's about an average, really. But I'd rather show you too much than not enough. So hopefully you've seen enough to make a decision. Obviously, if you want to see something else or, or if you'd like to see something in a bit more detail, please just ask. But for the moment, thanks for watching and sticking with me. I really appreciate it. More importantly, take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.